Hi everyone! I want to start by updating you on some paintings. This is from video 515 and I'm going to do um, this. I use the hairdryer and I want to do a similar um, one today but using blues and purples and then a touch of orange hopefully. Um, this, where is it? Uh, if you can see it, it's hard to, there. Um, I don't remember using silicone in this piece, but maybe I did, or maybe this was a wiped off piece and there had been silicone underneath. I really can't remember, but I will be doing a second coat on that. Um, this is from video 503, and I absolutely love it, and I'm so glad I added the glitter. But this piece, where is it? So this had the exact same thing, but this one I did use um, um, silicone, and I washed it really well, um, but it still resisted. And the second coat of resin was perfect, except, and I'm not going to be able to show it because you won't see it, um, it went, since that was the low spot, uh, it... Um, you can still feel there's a low spot. So it's going to take a third coat to bring that up flat. This there is no video of, but because I am going to put another coat of resin on it. And the sides are actually gold. Um, eh, yeah, I'm not going to untape it. But it's so cool. I love that one. Um, and this is the Lazy Susan. That's just sitting there drying, waiting to be resined. And then this is 523, the one with the compressed air. And I really, really like it. Um, the colors just call to me. And then I did a super quick sped up, like 30 second swipe on Instagram. And this was the swipe, which is such a cute little you know, coaster size. But this was the wipe off, like, because I used the cardboard and then I cleaned it on here. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> the wipe off is almost prettier than the um, thing. All right, so quick um, video descriptions, Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, etc. email. If you're curious as to how I mix paints, Floetrol, water, and paint. Um, go look, search my videos. Um, and then my PayPal, if you would like to help support my channel. It's always appreciated. So this is my last circle. I'm so bummed. And um, my guy is not getting back to me. I always sound like it's like... When I talk about my guy, my supply, like, sounds like some illicit drug deal, MDF drug deal. Alrighty, so let me get some gloves out. So I've got Prussian Blue, Artist Love Metallic Blue, Grumbacher Deep Violet, Self-Mixed Purple, or Violet, and then this is, um, I'm not really, I think I'll use this. This is self-mixed, but it is mainly um, glitter paint. So it's almost a clear-ish. And then the orange, which is also a self-mixed, um, I believe, my, oh, I'm not even really sure. But it's got iridescent medium in it. And I know I've done the hair dryer before, not too long ago, but that magenta one that I showed you that I have to re resin is so awesomely amazing that I highly doubt I'll be able to even come close to reproducing it, but I will be happy if I can even make something half as beautiful. So 
so I will try. I was asked to write up stuff about my work and getting cells on for someone's blog post that I will let you know when it actually is up. But I think I don't want to do a website or a blog, whatever, because I, um, I just honestly can't maintain it. <laughs> I, with, you know, with work and family and art and I, I can't add one more website to that. But I'm gonna see, there should be a way to do, I may um, find somewhere on my Facebook page to put it in there. I will see. I had a website about two years ago and I never ever maintained it. <laughs> so that's when I decided I was I was just gonna use Etsy as my main selling platform. And uh, yeah, Etsy's a difficult place to sell like by accident, you know, if people if people aren't going there to look for you. I mean, I've bought tons of stuff by, you know, just coming upon people. But um, with art, that's a little harder to do on Etsy. But I have found my new favorite if, for Judaica art, Drash Designs. She does amazing, amazing work. And great for like bar and bat mitzvah gifts because she paint has painted every Torah portion for every week of the year, which makes a great gift for a bar or bat mitzvah. So look her up on let's see if you're if you're in the market for such a gift. So for me it is Monday, Tuesday, it's Tuesday night <laughs> and we are supposed to be getting six to nine inches of snow. So that ought to be fun. On top of like a bunch that we had Sunday. Snow, snow, snow. I like watching the snow. And now that I have new tires, I'm okay driving in the snow. My baby, Prussian blue. You know, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna wait on the orange after I see what this does. Because I have a feeling I'm going to want to add more. I don't think this is going to be enough. So I actually think I should maybe... I keep looking over at the other one. Um, maybe make like a little baby pour right next to it. the opposite direction of the colors. Ooh, 
maybe I'll put the orange in the middle. No, that's sort of in the middle. <coughs> it's in the middle somewhere. You could see when I started to tilt it, parts wanted to tilt and parts did not. So I'm going to actually... technique. I love the look. And as I said, I've done this, been doing this for a long time. see the tiniest bit of the orange. <laughs> I am not going to add more to it though. Oh wow, there's a ton of paint right there. What's going on over here? ton of paint. Lots and lots of paint. Decide which way I want it to go. Sorry, you probably couldn't see that at all. that go off the side.
starting to zigzag, which I don't want. But it's not too bad. alone but it was such a dark solid just spance of blue in the middle so now I'm tilting very slightly slowly So I've been getting some emails lately with some really pretty artwork attached um, that just aren't happy because not enough cells or that kind of thing. And um, like, there's like no cells on this. And so cells do not need to be the, you know, be all end all of acrylic pouring. I am loving what's going on up here. Kind of like the watercolor effect. It's pretty neat. I may actually use the hairdryer to just move this down. <laughs> Which is not going to work because the paint is starting to dry. the major problem with using the hair dryer. Is that it starts to dry quite quickly. I'm afraid these areas are going to be lumpy, so I'm just gonna quickly. And I've said before how fast these raw edges, the paint dries on them, so. You add that in with the hair dryer and you've a lot of fast drying paint.
more symmetrical in the look. Getting rid of like the tiny flakes, flecks, not flakes. I think it's a winner. And I forgot I still have to torch it. <laughs> Very pretty. Still see a little bit of the orange, so yay! I can't see any of the glitter from that purple. But when it dries, I should. Where are my glitters? Because maybe I need some blue. Do need blue. Is this the blue? That'd be a good blue. down. How you do? Yeah, you'll just get dizzy. I love it. Got some of the webbing that I like right there. So yay, quick one yellow on me. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.